Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Gigi here. Thank you so much for joining me for another Collective Energy reading. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me if you join our soul family. Uh, if you could like, share, and uh, comment on the videos to show some support. I love talking to you guys. I really do. Uh, just a few things uh, today. Let's just do our timeline update real quick. It is March 15th, 2022. It is 1108 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Central Valley, California. Um, just want to let you guys know of a couple of things. I do offer one free service. It is a prayer and blessing book. Um, if you're in special need of special prayers and blessings, all you have to do is email me. You'll find my email down in the description box below, amongst other things. Uh, feel free to hit me up. We'll chat. We'll talk. I'll put you in the prayer and blessing book. And uh, I will, uh, during my evening prayers, I will make sure to uh, pray for you by name and talk to spirit and ask for special blessings and prayers for you. Um, on top of that, every Friday night at 7.30, or every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I have a, a live reading that I do. It's been amazing. This will be our fifth one, and it just seems to be doing really well. So come join us on Friday if you're interested. Um, also, I will be doing another pop-up shop probably in about two weeks um, at Burner's Merced again. So if you're in the area and didn't get to uh, catch the last one, it'll be a twice a month thing as of right now. Maybe it'll change. We'll see what happens. But it was definitely a lot of fun. It was very successful, had a lot of fun. Um, outside of that, there's not a whole lot to talk about. We're gonna, uh, we have a few decks on deck today. We have Divine Feminine, we have Kali, we have the Angels and Ancestors, we have the Archangels and Souls Journey, as well as Zodiac, no tarot tonight. Um, quick disclaimer, this is a collective energy reading, so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, place yourself in the reading where you belong, please and thank you. Remember, Gigi is not a therapist, however, I am your friend, here with messages from spirit, from his angels, and energies that would like to communicate with you. So, just remember that as we go through this, um, and just sit back and enjoy. Let's get started. Alright. Alright. Holy Spirit. Please come down with your angels, my ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides that have ascended to your highest white light to protect and guide me with clear, honest, and precise messages for the reading for the collective. Please protect us all from any dark energy that may be lingering and cast it all back to hell where it belongs. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. I love and appreciate all of you. Okay. No tarot tonight only comes out when spirit asks for it so let's just get to going let's see what the zodiac energy is for tonight all right holy spirit what is the zodiac energy for tonight's reading please and thank you Ooh, energy surge what is the zodiac energy for tonight's reading please and thank you holy spirit Spirit's giving me something. I see a masculine and a feminine. Are either of them divine? The masculine is the divine masculine. Uh, we're back to this. I figured it was going to be about this. I was informed two readings ago that this was going to be a week-long endeavor dealing with this energy. So we're seeing these two... Heated argument on the nose, big time. What's the, what's the argument about? We'll get there. I need my crystals. What is this? Booze on the table. Is there drugs in the house? Stronger stuff than weed. Eh, possibly prescription drugs. That are being misused yes they're in a heated argument about something about where loyalties lie how could you do this are you are you leaving me who's saying that masculine this divine masculine to this girl Yes, he's saying my my heart's not in it. Is that what he's saying? Yes. I can't do this anymore. 
Yes. My heart is somewhere else. I don't want to live a lie. I'm being just yes to all of this. She's screaming, clawing at her face, trying to pull her hair out. She's losing her freaking mind. Get to the card. Okay. Anything else right now? Get to the card. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. This is going to be an interesting one. All right, Spirit, what's the Zodiac energy for tonight's reading, please? We have... Mercury, I should know this by now, Mercury, Gemini, and Virgo. This next full moon is in Virgo. Oh my God, here we go again. The goosebumps are back, the goosebumps are back. We have, what was it again? Gemini and Virgo. And we have Aquarius and Leo. Oh boy. Okay, you know what's going on, spirit, not Gigi. <laughs> All right, on the bottom is Libra. On the bottom of the deck is a Libra, is Libra. All right, where are we going? Let's just see where we're going here. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine wants to start. All right, Divine Feminine. What do you have to start this off with? What messages would you like to tell us? The Water Bearer and the Sun. Oh, boy. Gemini and Virgo. Oh, boy. Earth, fire, and air. This girl definitely seems like she's about to come unglued. Or she is coming unglued, very unbalanced. It's probably the mix of the alcohol and the pills on the nose big time. seeing different images in my head. Somebody sees a ship sailing away. They're standing, there's, I mean, okay, let me see if I can explain this. It's like I'm standing in this vision here. I'm, I, I'm, I physically can feel like I'm standing in this vision watching over everything and I feel like I'm standing on top of a cliff looking down and watching and it looks like I'm going to just use the reference from The Little Mermaid like I always have. And we're going to call the Divine Masculine Prince Eric. We're going to call the Sea Witch Ursula. And we're going to call Divine Feminine Princess Ariel. Now, Divine Masculine and Ursula, are they sta are these the two that I see standing on the, shore li the shoreline on the nose big time? And Divine, or excuse me, Prince Eric turns around and sees a ship sailing away that has the Divine Feminine on it, Princess Ariel. And something clicks, and he's awakened from a trance, and he takes off in the water and tries to swim after it. Almost a little too late, but there may be a blessing that he may be able to somehow catch up. I don't know, maybe catch on, somehow I see I'm catching on to some dolphins. I see him like being swum out by some dolphins out to the ship. making it and then climbing aboard to his princess she turns around and looks at him and he was hoping to see her smile but the look on her face is like um you are too late 
Almost too late? Yes, almost, you were almost too late. And it's like he's on his hands and knees, head bowed, panting and crying and all different kinds of things. I watch too much TV. <laughs> Mostly Disney movies. Um, but I made it. By the skin of my teeth, I made it. All right, Divine Feminine. Switch to Kali first. Okay. He's like almost hyperventilating, like freaking out about almost not making it. I couldn't lose you this time. On the nose, big time. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. always knew deep down you were my princess the girl that was with him on the beach turned into the sea witch like legit tentacly octopus evil witch is she coming after them yes okay I see King Trident popping up, turning around in his, all his mermaid glory, merman glory, excuse me, with his trident ready to slay the sea witch, somebody's dad, putting a stop to it on the nose big time. Somehow the family's going to get involved, possibly at the wedding of these two, because the sea witch might want to crash the wedding, is that right? And somebody's father will be there to protect his daughter. Kala Dahara. She's gorgeous. She's got the moon behind her. Looks like it's waxing. Number three. Let me get the, the book. Right on it. That's beautiful. She is not bound by appearances, opinions, or material limitation. She is both the void and the infinite creative potential that arises from it. Do not be afraid of uncertainty. If you feel you are without resources, take comfort now. There is a lack she restores. Where there is lack, she restores abundance. She can bring forth exquisite blessings and glorious manifestations from the sacred expense of nothingness. Your soul can rely on her completely. Cast your fears away. Hers is the power of the universe combined with the generosity of grace. That's that, uh, that blessing that he made it to her in the nick of time before she set sail completely. Before she was out in open waters where he wouldn't have been able to catch up with her. 
but there feel I feel like there's a part missing from him on his hands and knees bowing to the point where the princess's father is protecting them. Or am I missing something? Not at all. The second this union happens, there's going to be some. Is that right? On the notes, okay. Okay. There's going to be some serious family healing. Big time. That's actually going to be blessed. Father's blessing. On the nose, big time. There's going to be a father's blessing to this princess. The, the divine feminine. Princess Ariel is the divine feminine. Remember that. Grace is going to be given. Blessings are going to be given. And there's going to be a divine union that happens. Hi there. One of my ancestors are with me. I haven't seen her in a long time. Divine Feminine it is going to be okay. It's going to work out. You have family members you may have put out of your mind that still love you very much want to see you happy abundantly rewarded for your good behavior It's gonna all be part of your divine blessing. Well, I just want to take a minute and say I've missed you very much. <sighs> it's all coming down to the wire, but divine timings at play, and things have to play out exactly the way that they are, in order for it to be what it needs to be. going to be okay, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, you're about to have a lot of work to do to make amends for certain things. That charm you have within you, you're going to have to pull all the stops out you may have to put yourself temporarily into a submissive position to help balance out the scales. almost 12 o'clock at night and my three-year-old is still awake tormenting his father he's been all off since he's been sick so hopefully it's a good night for him to sleep through the night we'll see what happens this is going to be interesting anyway um let's get divine feminine out and see i'm gonna shuffle this again divine feminine you were always loved. Things happened like this for a reason. Yes, due to vicious cycles, ancestral curses. Have they been broken? Have they been broken? For the most part, this situation will complete the cycle healing on the nose very much so all right divine feminine what would you like to say now there she is she is the cosmic egg i hold the universe within me i'm a force of ever expanding love and the thing is is once this complete cycle has has this once this healing cycle has been 
completed and it's just a beautiful situation. The love that radiates off of her is going to be a vibration that the whole world feels, a frequency the whole world feels, almost. Anything else from here? One more shuffle. Mother, Mother Kali. The mother of the universe. There she is two times. I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time for the truth of who I am. And she is, the truth of who she is, is the divine feminine. And it's time it comes out because the second it does, that cycle of healing will be, it's going to be a complete circle. And that circle is going to be a beautiful thing. And it's going to be a circle of love. It's going to be a pure healing, pure bliss, pure abundance in all things. It's just going to be like a wish fulfilled. And somebody is going to feel whole and complete. The mistress of, lab of the labyrinth, my soul knows the way and the only way out is through. And that's what she's been going through, the ringer, her whole life. The Divine Holy Spirit has seen her trials and tribulations through the, cycle, the life cycles in which she's been here, the work she's put in, and believe it's time, believes it's time for her divine blessing on the nose big time. Anything else? You want me to shuffle this one again? What was I saying last night about her slaying that succubus? That succubus is that sea witch that got left. Because her heart is true. She is the cosmic egg. She is the divine feminine. And she's been going through a labyrinth of trials and tribulations her entire life. Breaking curses. Breaking ancestral patterns outdated ways of thinking I'm sorry the Queen Esther the morning star we have the star again there's the Aquarius the morning star the morning star my ego is in service of my soul I trust my soul's divine timing is that why she did she trust in divine timing? Had to build up her patience. Well, I understand that. Had to teach her the things she needed to be taught, the life lessons she needed to learn. Had to be patient, try to be understanding and compassionate as best she can. Has she passed? For the most part, yes the best I guess her human form could do with what she was given how she was raised the things she's been through she did the best she could and that's why she's being blessed there you have it and that's why the succubus is being slain being left Anything else from this? You want the Archangels next? Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, what do your angels have to say to us? Kali's out here twice. That's crazy. Do the archangels have to say please and thank you? 
Archangel Charity and Archangel Germiel. Give with an open heart, be generous. Learn from your challenges, relax and trust. That's where the relax and trust part was a building up on patience. Yeah. Learning to know when it's time for alone time, time for hermit time, family time, work time, learning how to balance out the emotions, staying away from maybe somebody detoxed and got away from things that were causing them to be on edge. Give with an open heart. What about this? She does for others, even when she barely has anything for herself on the nose big time because she knows what it's like to be on the bottom and then be higher up not at the top she has she ever been at the top no has she ever been close not really but she knows how to be she knows how to get she she got from the bottom she went from the bottom to elevated enough to feel comfortable and she knows what it's like to be down there and she never wants to be there again is that true on the nose big time she wants to do things she wants to be able to help others and give with opened arms she's generous with her time her resources helping others so much so she forgets to do it for herself all the time i guess people made her feel guilty for taking alone time or wanting to take alone time and threw out guilt that you know well if you have this you can't do that or why are you running away can't you handle your situation always throwing the guilt out and what did she do she just let it she stopped it said her piece and let it go for the most part yes gracefully yes So she's learning how to balance things out. Any more from the Archangels? No. Angels of Ancestors next? Okay. Oh, Lord. The thing is, is it took this divine pair to be in separation. Has it been a long separation? Not really, no. In the grand scheme of things, not really. Possibly a few months. But the awakening started. They were still talking. Yes. Sort of. Kind of up and down. Okay. Taking little sabbaticals here, little sabbaticals there. And then it got to a point where enough was enough. And then a, a major separation happened. Zero communication. Really no way of communicating at all. Except for in person. Am I right? On the nose big time. Maybe some online, there's maybe one option of online communication, but it would be completely ignored. Very much so. She would see his name pop up, probably read it, get a good laugh, and delete it, or maybe get pissed off. Who knows, would she get mad? Probably. I see a, a slew of disgusting, evil, like, energy. If he, if he were to try to get in touch with her this time through the internet, it would be, he would be made into a laughing stock. Even Archangel Metaton laughing, like, the name she would call him, <laughs> like, the colorfulness of her vocabulary is quite impressive. She must be very good with her words. All right, angels and 
sisters, what would you like me to say? Would you like me to read the ins inscription in the box first? All right, bear with me just a second. There's, I've noticed that with these cards, it's definitely worth reading this, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's beautiful. Guardians of the Four Corners, Mother in the Earth, Father in the Sky, Angels, Ancestors, Sacred Ones, I call on you and welcome you here now. I set the intention that whatever is gained from the lessons learned from this tool will be dedicated to the growth of all beings in all places. I love that. All right, let's try that again now. Here we go. See from a higher perspective. That's to you, Divine Masculine. Yes. It's time for you to start looking at this from a higher perspective. The world is not out to get you. You have a lot of karma that's, that is here to, you, you got a lot of karma that you got to go through. Okay. For the things that you've done, the lies, the deception, the manipulation, that ego of yours and your just all around narcissistic behavior. Okay. You have to see like this, got the all seeing eye there underneath that that eagle okay you need to you need to understand that these are life lessons that you need to learn right now okay oh the energy um time for you to be have your eyes opened you're going to make that big, that big leap. You just need to be brave. And it's time to be honest. It's time to be honest. Because I see this, this little rosebud is starting to bloom. There's budding possibilities, sir, with this person. So many, so much so. Complete healing of the mind, body, and soul. The joy of a family dynamic. It's going to be something to write about. Something to paint about. Something to sing about. You guys are going to be so much more than anything that succubus could have ever given to you. She may have made you look good, but the real re reality of it all is that even though divine feminine think about it like this again with i watched too many damn disney movies but remember how in the beginning of beauty and the beast where the prince that narcissistic thinking he big old ego thinking he, because he's the, the the prince that he uh can be an asshole to everybody and get away with it because he had money right well remember that uh the enchantress that came to his door as an old beggar woman with that single rose yeah, that turned into that beautiful woman that put a curse on him and turned him into the ugly beast to teach him a lesson. See, the thing is, is she may be beautiful. Is she beautiful? Absolutely. She may have some flaws, you know, may need to tone up in certain areas, may need to cut some bad uh, habits with, you know, maybe overindulging sometimes you know, maybe suffers from issues where, you know, things happen, but the thing is, is her heart is as pure as gold, as pure as an angel, wanting nothing more than to help people. She's beginning to bloom in her prime, learning things, learning moderation, learning to fight certain cravings. I know how hard that is. This one may look good on the ins outside, but what are her insides look like? A red, snaky little demon that wants to steal your soul on top of everything else you have in this 3D. And what a divine feminine want to help you kick bad habits, teach you about spirituality, to love you unconditionally, to accept you for who you were, because she saw the charm and charisma that you have, and 
fell in love with you. Even when you were at your worst, she still loved you. Put up with a lot of your garbage until enough was enough. And she decided to stand in her worth and remember who the actual F she is. And that's why she completely pulled her power back to the point where now you're skating on real thin ice and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to make that swim. You're gonna have to leave a lot behind you to catch up with her. The thing is, is I see you getting there, winded, tired, exhausted, soaking wet, on your hands and knees, huffing and puffing, begging for forgiveness. Because you're about to realize just how wonderful she is, how gracious she is, the mercy she's gonna have on you. And the thing is, is there's going to be total healing, complete healing. Yeah, follow the voice of your soul. Stop fighting it. It's going to come to a point where you're just going to be at a you're going to be at your breaking point with this witch. I just see her like just scratching at her face, yanking her hair, like possibly even threatening. The thing is is you listen did, did he listen to one message on the nose big time? There was one intuitive message you were given divine masculine from divine feminine. Her words gave you an idea on the nose big time for this particular moment. There's that train for confirmation. What you did with that information is setting you up to keep your ass out of trouble on the nose big time. That's from Archangel Metatron. So just remember you, you were sent a very specific intuitive message. Think back. Can I say it like that? It wasn't a text message. It wasn't a voicemail. It was something else that gave you a light bulb moment. made you realize who Divine Feminine really was in that moment? Did it scare him? Yes. She knows too much. Which was one of the reasons why he acted the way he did. Yes. Thinking by taking a little sabbatical it would break the connection on the nose big time, but in reality that isn't going to happen because you guys share a soul. Even if you were 10,000 miles away, she'd still be able to read you like a book. Now it's time for you to listen to the voice of your soul and follow it bravely. And be honest with yourself and that succubus. Because the thing is, is with her acting, the cr acting out and acting cuckoo crazy like this... You're going to see the real side of her. You're going to see Ursula instead of that uh, outer shell that she's put herself in. What is this? Be devoted and committed. They're sage. Yeah, be devoted to what your soul's purpose is, what, where your heart lies. Be committed to your choice to make the change once you decide to j take that leap of faith and travel that distance from that shoreline to that ship and get your ass onto that boat where you're supposed to be with that divine feminine and get your ass to what you should be doing. Making amends, 
healing, getting your lives in order. Make a plan and focus. Trust your instincts. They're there to guide you. So at this point, you know what you need to do. You need to focus. Don't let the tears of what looked to be a scared little girl that's having a tantrum because she's not getting what she wants because she realizes that her life is about to crumble around her if she doesn't get what she wants from you. If you leave her, it's going to be um, for your benefit. And the sea witch won't win this time. And you'll get to have your happily ever after where you're full of joy you may even be just as generous as this divine feminine is with all in all ways wanting nothing more than to help people spiritually help people guide them on the right track on the right path possibly adopt some children that may come from broken homes to help them break the cycle foster children Help them break the cycle. Raise them in good, clean environments with healthy, happy uh, people around them. Showing them the way of what the world is meant to be like, not what it's turning into with all this darkness. There's so much more to life than what we see on the Instagram, man. There's so much more to this life than just money. Think about it like this. Think about a child in foster care that saw their mother killed by their father. The Child Protective Services come in and take them away from what they've known their whole life. Put them in with strangers who were maybe not even as good as they looked on paper. Mentally and, phys mentally and emotionally abusive. Only being there for them when it was convenient and just using them as a paycheck. And then you get your hands on them and you love them unconditionally and show them the way of the world and change somebody that could have turned to drugs and alcohol and murder and gangs and all of that and help them turn their life around and become a doctor or a lawyer or an astronaut or a firefighter or a police officer that can do the same for others. Maybe a child that came from the streets that can turn into a billionaire and change the world with one genius invention. That's what good people that I'm seeing can do for the world. You understand? And all it takes is for you to just have your eyes opened to what you've been doing. You both have the talent, you and your feminine have the talent to make a major change in this world. And that is why the divine is working so hard specifically with this divine feminine to get her prepared for what you guys are about to do. You may have had more time on this earth to learn patience, to develop work ethics that needed to be developed to be able to handle maybe an artistic mindset like hers. I mean, we have the polar opposites here on the spectrum. You know what I'm saying? You guys are meant to balance each other out. You know what I'm saying? We have air and, and fire in the Libra scale here for balance. Maybe one of you guys have some earth in there to help balance the whole thing out and completely, completely on the nose big time. The thing is, is it's time to make a plan and focus on it. Listen to the voice of your heart and your soul. I don't know if you pray or meditate, but you may want to do that. As soon as you rele get released from this succubus, you may want to go into complete prayer and meditation and just surrender your heart. Or it's going to be a, a forced thing. Because the thing is, is what I'm seeing is, are there two options? Yes. Either which way is he going to listen to Divine Feminine's intuitive message? Yes. One thing is, if he gets behind the wheel, 
right after this fight with the succubus, it's going to go one way. If he stays and sobers up and doesn't try to run away from the situation to go and be harmful to someone, it's going to go another. Either which way the awakening is going to happen and these two souls are going to be joined in a twin flame union. Am I right? On the nose, big time. It's just how you handle the outcome of whatever this argument is and however it ends. Because all I, can I say that in detail? Okay, all I see is this succubus being removed from the premises because you have some evidence proving your innocence in comparison to what she's lying about to you, on you about. So Divine Feminine's intuitive message is going to save your ass. So you're going to need to be extraordinarily grateful. So if you get out of that situation and you go and try to harm somebody, you're going to be put into a situation to where you're going to have to face some serious karma because the Divine is giving you a blessing by showing you what this succubus is truly like and giving you an opportunity to save your ass without losing everything. You better be careful. Do you want anything else from the Arch the angels and ancestors? Okay. Do you want me to pull the cards? Okay. Alright, we're going to get into Soul's Journey. Let's see what else we have coming out. spirit spirit. chose the wrong one and stayed in a situation for far too long when you had an opportunity to be with the other half of your soul someone that completed you so fully that gave you passion there's a, a verse um, I'm dramatic, I know. Hang on, I'm having a brain block here. I need to hear, I need to see the words. It's uh, Rush Rush by Paul Abdul. That's, that song though, like if I have that song popping in my head anymore, man. I get dramatic, baby, yes I know. Where'd it go? I get dramatic, baby. Yes, I know. But I need you. I want you. Damn it. Where is it? Oh. 
if I'm all right and all I want from you is what you are and even if you're right next to me you're still too far away if I'm not inside your arms I get dramatic baby yes I know but I need you I want you oh man I love you so is something that I'm being told and that comes back down to that artistic personality that free spirited just want to have wide open spaces to run and be free and be silly and allow the child within to come out and play emotions can run really high for this feminine especially when her heart is all in she wants you or wanted you but the thing is is she's moving on looking for wide open spaces with or without you and the thing is is you're going to realize just i'm being just in the nick of time you need to be very grateful for the divine when this blessing happens you better be very grateful yeah there's that surrender just surrender it surrender it all as soon as this succubus is out of your life for good surrender everything else let it all go and get your ass in the car and take that effing journey and make sure you're sober doing it sleep go to sleep lock the doors put the chain on the bolt and the whatever you put the damn a damned door under a chair under the door there's that gratitude. Don't worry about anything. If you listen to that intuitive message you were given and you follow that idea that you have, it's gonna save your ass, okay? And like I said, once she's removed from the premises with because you have evidence of what she's lying about, you need to be grateful. You better get on your knees and you better thank God with everything you got because that could have been you and you could have been facing anywhere up to 24 plus months in jail for what she was accusing you of. And you could have lost everything right down to your chonies, man. Because she would have stayed in that. If she's the one, if you're the one that gets taken out by the police, she's going to take everything that belongs to you, especially, especially your most prized possession. She's going to break it and burn everything. Okay? Break everything that belongs to you. I see her tearing paintings down off the wall some of your favorite artwork that's on your walls sheets off the bed your clothes off the hangers and putting it all in a pile and burning it but there's one particular item I see her I want real clarity on this she's holding it in her hands she's kind of looking at it can I get full description I can get okay so it's about something like this she takes it out of a, it's probably like this sleeve that it's in and she's holding it and she's doing all of this and she looks over and she's reading something on the bottom of it and she just smashes it on the ground and jumps on it I mean anything she can do to destroy it puts it right on top of this pile that she wants to burn as if it was the sprinkles on top and that cherry on top of the shit sundae that was all of y'all's relationship and sets it on fire and watches it burn. You will have nothing, not even a pair of casones. Okay? To cover your ass when you get out of jail. She's going to take you for everything you're worth. And the thing is, is if you're renting the place that you're in, all she has to do is walk herself down to the office and say, this is what happened. I can afford to live here. Can I just take over this place? And they'll let her do it. It'll ruin your reputation at work. It'll ruin your reputa reputation in your community. Everything. Everything you've worked so hard if you don't listen. So stop worrying. Pay attention to what you were told. And once you have given, if you were given that divine blessing and you have surrendered everything, you better be grace, grace, grateful, 
great grateful to have your freedom there it is grateful to have your freedom Don't doubt your intuition. You have it for a reason. Listen to your gut. Don't worry. Don't worry about anything else. Spirit will have your back. And the thing is, is one way or another, even if you're sly and you still do, you know, follow that intuitive message and you, and you, because I, like I said, there's two options. Okay. There's two options. One that's going to lead you into a pleasant situation or one that's going to postpone it ever so slightly to have you uh, basically smacked upside the head the thing is is if it takes if you end up if you end up taking with that second option to where you leave right after that intoxicated and you get behind the wheel the thing is is one way or another you're going to be awakened but if you take that second option you're going to miss the boat you understand what I'm saying? If you miss that boat, you're going to have a long life, healthy life, but it's going to be very lonesome because you're going to lose a lot, of, a lot of money. You're going to lose a lot of respect. You're going to probably catch a charge or two for driving under the influence, whatever the case may be. But your life will be saved either which way and the succubus still won't win. But that one particular situation will lead you down a path where you have no succubus and no divine feminine and you end up alone because your trust for women is going to go right out the out the door you may catch your snooze through here and there but you need to be careful because stds are still a thing but that first option of sleeping it off getting your mind right packing up everything that matters to you even if you don't go to sleep right away because you're probably going to have an adrenaline rush from here to next week even if you pack up your bag Pack up everything that means something, especially whatever it is that would be the cherry on top of her breaking it and destroying it. That prized possession of yours, that there, make sure you bring that with you. That's the key to this all. And it's time to start choosing to focus on the lighter side of life. And it doesn't have to do with money. It doesn't have to do with clout. It doesn't have to do with anything. Just think about it like this. This is just an example. Think about how wonderful it would be to be hand in hand with the woman you love so deeply that all you have to do is look in her eyes and the whole world lights up as if the sun is coming out after a month of it being gray and cloudy and rainy and she just lights up your entire life and you guys walk hand in hand out into the garden sit in under a gazebo and drink tea and just watch the birds go by that there is the lighter side of life that your soul so desperately needs to possibly watch your children playing and just enjoying life jumping on trampolines splashing in pools laughing and giggling and all you want to do is get up and twirl your girl around and throw her in the pool <laughs> you know what i'm saying and just laugh money will come easy Respect is what you're going to have to earn, but the thing is, is the two of you together, the charm and the, and the charisma, it's just all about the way that you guys will just light up any room you're in. It's going to be amazing, but remember, you have a choice, and I would highly recommend you taking that first one where you stay your ass in the house, sober up, and get your mess in a pile, count your damn blessings, and you better get your sh together, bro understand you better listen listen to Gigi now please it's for your own life it's for your own good listen to me it's your life do what you want but the thing is is, is you're gonna have a divine blessing one way or another one that will lead you to being alive healthy and sober safe and alone or the other one will be where you have your complete wish fulfillment with a woman that will cha help you change your entire world Anything else, Holy Spirit? It comes down to trust. Trust in what is being told to you right now. Trust and don't doubt, don't worry. Have some trust in God. Be grateful. Don't fear. 
there's nothing to fear okay nothing as long as you pay attention if you have you has he taken that advice already on the nose big time has for a while now just to be on the safe side on the nose big time he's telling Archangel Metatron's telling me he listens stubborn as all hell but he listens when it's when, when it's convenient for him the thing is, is this is going to be a very big lesson he's going to learn to start listening more so don't fear anything else no I can close it out okay thank you Holy Father thank you angels ancestors loved ones and spirit guides angels for coming through and helping me thank you energies for coming through and helping me through this reading I love and appreciate you all I close this reading all right not bad for an hour all right guys I don't really have much more to say it's already 12 o'clock I'm going to bed I love you all no Gigi loves you till next time light love and blessings Bye for now, guys. Okay.